By the time Lincoln finally faced off with Sal Marcano, he had effectively undermined Sal's whole network. New Bordeaux belonged to Lincoln. As soon as he broke Marcano's hold on a district, he transferred power to one of his underbosses. I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. Like I said, Cassandra ran guns. She was Lincoln's main arms dealer. She could also lean on a few operators at the telephone exchange. Cassandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. Whatever you need, consider it done. One call from Lincoln would cut communications for a whole neighborhood. Forget about calling in reinforcements or reporting on his movements. Once he got organized, he had Thomas Burke set up a service that delivered him a vehicle from his private fleet whenever he needed them. Anywhere in the city, day or night, it was like an armada. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. Vito Scaletta was one of the most connected gangsters in the crew, so he became sort of a mob administrator. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going, you got nine more! When Lincoln needed backup muscle, one of Scaletta's hit squads was never far away. He also had connections to an underground doctor who gave Lincoln whatever he needed to patch himself up. The thing about Vito was he was old school mafia. Guys like that don't take orders from some punk who's not even in the family. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. It's one of the great things about Lincoln Clay, though. He could line even the most unlikely of allies. God damn, don't you want a man like that on your side? It worked in Vietnam, and it definitely worked in New Bordeaux. If Mr. Clay had such grave misgivings about his associates, why enlist their help in the first place? You're still not getting it. It was never just about killing Marcano. It was about hurting him first. Lincoln wanted to take his legacy apart piece by piece. Tear down everything he'd ever worked for. He wanted him to understand that with all his money and all his muscle and his influence, there was nothing he could do to stop it. Lincoln had a significant impact. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do. He finished them. Then somewhere along the line, Lincoln realized something you still can't seem to grasp. The best way to take down an empire, to make sure it stays down, is to build another empire right on top of it. New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way.